Well, I took the research from Frank Hemingway and I was able to trace the Hemingway family back beyond him. And I have some good news. You, you do have a distant connection to the writer, Ernest Hemingway. I consider myself just like the kind of Midwestern next door neighbor girl. Kind of made a career on that, so I'm sticking with that story. But yeah, that's how I see myself. Just kind of simple life, a house you didn't lock the doors, but surrounded by family and cousins and extended family. I mean, I'm lucky because when I was born, I had all four great-grandmothers living and two great-grandfathers. They lived in Minnesota, and we would go and visit them like two or three times a year. Between Illinois and Minnesota, that's as far back as I've ever gone with my family. I have no idea how they ended up there. I always say I'm just an American mutt because I know all of my grandparents were born here and I'm pretty sure all my great grandparents were born here. So, you know, I'm just like, we're like, you know, Midwestern potato eating people. So I guess it would be cool to have some person that was like historically relevant, like that would be kind of cool. But the main thing for me is just like having that sense of connection to history. I'm excited about doing this for for myself and also for my family. I'm especially excited to share it with my kids. You know, I have a daughter who's in sixth grade, her name's Kaya, and I know that she has to do a big family history project. So I figure, okay, this is my daughter's project right here, like, and it'll be really cool. It'll, you know, because because my family, we, I mean, being American is great, but we all came from somewhere and I don't, I don't have any of that. I don't have any of those pieces to the puzzle. I'm gonna start by looking into my dad's mom because she and I are very close. Her name is Ramona Hemingway. So this is me and Grandma Ramona, and I'm pretty sure this was taken at a Hemingway family reunion, probably in Mankato, Minnesota. And that's a name that I've always been really curious about. Like, are we related to Ernest Hemingway or not? Other than just it being family rumor, I, I don't know. This is Ramona's parents, Hazel Brown Hemingway, my great-grandma, and Frank Hemingway. I knew both of them very well. We would go up there every summer when I was a kid. And Frank was a popcorn farmer, and all he wanted was one son, because all farmers want sons, yet he had eight daughters. Now, this picture is Frank's parents, my great-great-grandparents, Grandpa Lou, and he, they called Grandma Lou too, but I'm sure they both weren't named Gr Lou. But I never knew him, and I don't know anything about him. So I guess that's where I'm gonna start my search. And so I am going to search ancestry.com for Lou, assuming that that's Lewis, a short name for Lewis, L-U-I-S, Hemingway, my great-great-grandpa, Minnesota, and I'm gonna search. Okay, so I have a lot of Lewis Hemingways. So then I'm gonna click on Vernon, Blue Earth, Minnesota. Now that's right where, near where my great-grandparents lived. Let's see what it says. It says 1880. Okay, Lewis Hemingway. He was 13 when this census was taken. He was born in Minnesota. His father's name was Frank. So it looks like I found the correct Lewis Hemingway. It makes sense that he would have named his son after his father. So that Frank Hemingway would be my great, great, great grandfather. His father was from New Hampshire. Wow, I had no idea. As far as I knew, Everybody on my dad's side was Minnesota. So the next step would be to look up this other Frank Hemingway in New England and seeing where that leads me. And I don't know if that will be closer or further away from my uh, fantasy of being related to Ernest Hemingway. I've got my first clue about my family's origins before they arrived in the Midwest. My great-great-great-grandfather, Frank Hemingway, was actually born in New Hampshire in the 1800s. So I'm headed to the New England Historic Genealogical Society in Boston. I want to see how far back I can take my family tree. So I've asked genealogist Chris Child to do some research for me. I thought that this was a good place to start to try to figure out 
where Frank Hemingway came from, and is there any connection to Ernest Hemingway? Well, I took the research from Frank Hemingway, and I was able to trace the Hemingway family back beyond him. And I have some good news. You, you do have a distant connection to the writer, Ernest Hemingway. That's really cool. Your grandmother, Ramona Hemingway, is an eighth cousin to Ernest Hemingway. That is amazing, and I don't know if she really knows yeah. that. I can't wait to tell her. And then to you, we're going two generations down, so we are once twice removed. So, so you, eighth cousins twice removed. Yes. Awesome. In the course of researching this family, I was actually able to find another one of your ancestors that was even more impressive. Oh, um, really? And okay. that's this Trowbridge family. So you can see here where I'm showing the line from Frank Hemingway to Ebenezer Hemingway. So this is five times great grandfather named Ebenezer Hemingway. Okay. And his wife is Ruth Gates. Right. And she's the daughter of Amos Gates and Mary Trowbridge. Okay. And what's the deal with the Trowbridges? It's her who we're following back. Okay. And so she's born 1728. And then we go back to her father, John, grandfather, Thomas, great-grandfather, James, and great-great-grandfather, Thomas. Thomas. Oh, and this goes back to England. Yes. Wow, my 10 times great-grandfather. This is the first relative that I found that wasn't born in the United States. Yes. So Thomas is the one who made the big voyage. That's really cool. So it's actually a very well-known family, and this is one genealogy that we have here in our library. If you Wait, want to... this whole book is just about Trowbridge? Just Trowbridge. Wow. 